My, my, this is a strange sight. I wonder if I finally lost my mind after all this time. And here I thought the exercises were helping. Oh, what's the matter? You seem as confused as I am. Do you not even know how you got here? Because I certainly don't. A dream? How funny. I'm the one who feels like they're dreaming. But then, you don't seem to be here physically. So perhaps it's true. Astral projection, maybe? But I've never heard of astral projection to other planes. Perhaps it's true what they say. The dreams are windows to other worlds. Ah, uh, but listen to me ramble. It's been so very long since I've talked to someone other than myself. Tell me, what is your name? Hmm, what a strange name. I'm not sure I could even pronounce that. What was that first sound again? Odd. Come to think of it, given how long I've been here, my native language is probably dead. You must speak a completely different one. It's strange that we understand each other in that case. Anyway, I'll just call you Dreamer. There's not much point in me giving you my name. I imagine you wouldn't have any more luck pronouncing mine. Most people knew me as the cursed, anyway. Hmm, no reaction to that. I'd assume they'd still be telling stories about me. It might be for the best, though. I don't imagine stories about me would be particularly flattering. Well, I'm not interested in lying to the first person I've spoken to in a millennia. So I'll be frank. I'm not a good person. In fact, I'm here because I'm responsible for nearly wiping out humanity. Intentionally. The details are... Something I'd like to say for another time. Let it suffice to say that I'm a being of great magic, and I judged all humankind to be worthy of extinction. It would take a lifetime to name every person I've killed. <laughs> Poor little dreamer. If you weren't already asleep, I'd say you look like you could faint. Rest assured, you're in no danger. I'm all but powerless now, and you're not even really here. I underestimated your species' will to survive. Your ancestors sacrificed quite a lot to stop me. When I was within reach of my goal, they struck me with a potent spell. My magic was ripped from my very essence, and I was thrust out of reality into this wasteland that lies in between everything. A being like me isn't capable of death, so I've been here ever since, wandering the waste. It has been nothing short of maddening. For what it's worth, I've mellowed out over the years. What I was doing, it seemed so important at the time. I thought it was my duty to the world, but with nothing to do but think. My old way of thinking started to seem petty. Backwards, even. Certainly, I only have myself to blame for my situation. I can't fault your kind for defending themselves. So I can only think that it was immensely foolish of me to push you so far. If I could do it all over again, I think I'd have tried a more benevolent approach. Use my magic to make your lives better and win your adoration. It would have been easy to ask you to change your ways then. Of course. You're a fool if you take me at my word. I'd say anything if I had thought it had the slightest chance of getting me out of here. It probably doesn't matter, in the end. I'm not sure how you managed to get here, but I doubt there's any way you, or I, could take advantage of it. Though perhaps... Do you mind if I try to touch you? I want to confirm something. <laughs> oh, that blush. I think you pictured something just now, didn't you, Dreamer? How indecent. Oh, I kid. But it's gratifying to know my form is still appealing. My captors tried to turn me into a hideous beast on top of everything else, just to make me more miserable. But I managed to keep control of that, at least. Now, if you could just lend me your hand, 
That's all I'll need. Hmm. How intriguing. You're not really here physically, but there is something. I feel a tingling sensation when I pass my hand through you. This isn't as simple as astral projection or a mere dream. You're quite the little enigma dreamer, and perhaps a useful one too. You might be able to help free me. It's a long shot, but still the best odds I've faced since I've got here. Oh, and no need for that worried little face. There's nothing you could do right now, even if you wanted to. There's plenty of time for this, assuming this isn't a one-time visit. You can decide whether you actually want to free me later. I realize how risky of an idea that is for you. Anyway, I suppose that's enough scheming for now. I'm not sure how long we have, so before we're interrupted... I'd like to hear a little bit about you, Dreamer. Why, of course. There's something about you, I think. It's hard to be certain. I haven't spoken to anyone in so long, after all. But you seem unusual for a human, even ignoring the fact that you can visit me. Well, for starters, what do you do with your time? I, huh, I didn't understand most of those words. The world has clearly changed while I was away. I wish you could show me what you mean. I suddenly find myself wishing for a lot of things, in fact. I wish I could touch you. Really, touch you. I never held much interest for your kind, but right now, I just want to run my hands through your hair, feel your body against mine. What I wouldn't give just to be close to somebody again. Ah, was that oversharing? Sorry. Finally being able to talk to someone again has brought back a lot of feelings I'd buried away. It's funny how it's the thing I rarely had time for that I miss the most. If I do manage to return to the real world eventually, I think, I think that's what I'd like to focus on instead. Just connecting with people. Starting with you, my little dreamer. <laughs> a bribe? I wouldn't call it that. Just consider it an incentive. And it's not like I'm lying. You really do intrigue me. Even if I never make it out of here, I do hope that you'll be able to visit again. I'm quite fortunate that my first visitor in a millennia is so charming. Let me ask you something. If you could have one wish granted, what would it be? It could be almost anything. Really? My, how selfless. Or is this one of those, if the world gets better, I benefit sort of things? Well, never mind. Either way, I think I'll make that the first thing I do after I'm freed. Assuming I am. After I take advantage of being able to touch you, of course. Mm. Well, can you blame me? The more I think about the possibility of actually leaving, the more I want it to happen. Now I'm fantasizing about all sorts of things I could do for the first time in forever. Quite a few of them involve you. You're still a fool if you believe any of what I'm saying, of course. But the foolish choice isn't always the wrong one. Maybe you'll turn out to be exactly the kind of fool I needed. But before we go worrying about all that, I want to... What was that? I could swear you were blurry for a moment. There it is again. Oh dear. Does this mean you're waking up? I wasn't finished with you yet. Nah, well... No time to lament over it. I need to do something quickly before you wake up. Give me your hand again. I have a theory. And if I'm right, it should help bring you back to me. Even though you're not really here, there is some kind of connection to your real self. I think if I use what little power I have, I can... There. I've 
put some of myself into you. Now there should be a psychic link between us. You'll be able to see it when you wake up as a mark on your hand that only you can see. That way, you'll know it was all real. And best of all, when you go to sleep again, I can use this to guide you back to me. I couldn't stand it if I couldn't see you again. Ah, I think this is a... Take care, little dreamer. I'll see you again soon.